Hi, my name is Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. So, I am not going to do a lot of chatting to introduce this video because I've got a lot to cover. So this is basically mother of the bride, mother of the groom, um, stepmother, you know, anybody that is going to a wedding that needs to, or a function really, it doesn't have to be a wedding, does it? It could be, you know, um, a Buckingham Palace garden party or something, somewhere where you have to up the ante and dress differently to how you would normally dress, I guess, um, you know, you just have to dress to impress, as they say. So I'm no expert, you know, <laughs> I, I put that out there from the get go. I'm no expert, but I have got a lot of experience. Um, you know, our three children all got married, had, had big weddings, and I was very, very involved with all of them. And um, I've helped friends with their children's weddings and with their outfits and stuff, you know. It's just something I enjoy doing. I I love planning things. I love organising things. So I've bought um, several outfits. Well, dresses, not outfits, really. Dresses. Um, I've got a fair few hatinators myself. So I'm going to try and accessorise them as best I can from what I own with shoes, etc. I'm going to give you some hints and tips that I've learned along the way. And then we're going to talk about... Um, how to present yourself at the wedding or the event and uh, how to enjoy it. Now, what I would really try and emphasize at this point is please enjoy it. The amount of time, effort, mind space that goes into these special occasions means that you really must enjoy it. I worked incredibly hard for all three of our children's weddings, particularly the girls' weddings. Naturally, you're more involved with your daughter's wedding than your son's wedding. But I did do all the flowers for our son's wedding, so that was that was a big job in itself. Um, but what I was determined to enjoy it, and I have to tell you that actually the hairdresser, the makeup artist... Uh, we were lucky enough for the girls' weddings. We had a really top-notch makeup artist who who actually works on you know models all over the world and television and everything. So we were extremely lucky to have him. But he actually said, "I have never been in a more relaxed house on the morning of a wedding." Sorry, I'm still a bit nasally. And um, you know, I thought, well, good because. I haven't done all this to get stressed on the day. And I can tell you, I did not stress about one thing on the day because I had planned it down to the last second and the last bit of detail. So I just share with you some of my tips as we go through today, trying on some of these outfits. I've got no idea whether they will fit me, um, you know, how they will look. I haven't I haven't tried them on at all. All I've done is get them out and hang them up on the outside of the wardrobe here downstairs. So we'll see, won't we? We'll see how it goes. Um, I I have got a, I haven't got them on. I mean, I'm just wearing a tracksuit because so I'm going to be taking it off again in a second. Um, I have got uh, my shaper pants down here, and if I think I don't want to put them on, but if I think a dress needs it then I'll put them on and see if that makes a difference. One thing, um, certainly with um, Katie's wedding, I really, really didn't want to wear shapewear. It was, uh, you know, it was a thing that I had and I did lose a couple of stone before that wedding as well. But you know what I found was that a full length slip, petticoat as we used to call them, really helps to just stop the dress fabric kind of being against your lumps and bumps it just skims underneath or you can wear maybe a long line camisole or something that won't show but it just is like a second skin so that's just a little tippet so um i'll get started it's quite a strange thing to be doing rob's taken the dog out for a walk so i've got about an hour to cover this off and hopefully 
we can do that. So wish me luck. <laughs> what a thing, eh? Okay, so the first dress I have on is a Cheska dress, C-H-E-S-C-A, -E and I will link them where I can. And this was £195. I tried to keep it under the 300 mark. I tried to I tried to keep it at 250, but if it just went over. Now, obviously, I haven't bought accessories to go with this dress, but I just thought I would kind of dress it up. So I've got kind of a silver pinky hatinator on little silver bag and silver shoes, silver jewellery, silver pearls, black bra, I know. But this is very pretty and so comfortable. It's like a plissé fabric, fabric and it's got these pretty little um, flowers around the edge and you'll see on the hem too. Um, but I tell you, it's a really comfortable, incredibly easy dress. It just slips on. It's, it looks like it's a top and skirt, but it's not in actual fact. And then it's got three lines of those same flowers around the end. They do it in different colours. Um, and you know what? I didn't think I'd like this dress, but I actually do. I think it's very flattering. It's very, very easy to wear. I think this is a dress where a slip would help. Um, I mean, I've only got my ordinary pants on, but, you know, I, I'm aware that you can kind of see the edge. But if you had on... Um, a slip that would just kind of smooth that over or just wear you know the the jockey slip shorts which would give you a smooth line I mean I'm just showing you ladies this isn't for me to buy this is for you to get ideas so I mean I don't know what you think but I think that's a a very pretty dress very pretty indeed and I know they do it in navy and I think they do it in grape as well um, I've just got this little clutch bag, which I've had for donkey's years. Um, I keep all of these kinds of things, lend them out to people. Um, but, you know, you could go pink with this. You could go black. I probably wouldn't go black myself. But, um, yeah. And I'll do this. I'll do this kind of when I remember to do it. So, you know, when you're having your photograph taken, don't, don't stand like this or like this. Try and adopt a pose now i know that doesn't come easily to any single one of us you know we're, we're not models we're not being photographed every day but i promise you if you put a little bit of practice into seeing how you will look on camera you will be glad of it when the photos come through because you know you'll be thinking why should i have my hand there why should i so the trick is always to put one foot in front, I need to get further back, one foot in front and then lean on the back leg and that immediately gives you a better pose. Try not to have your arm flat against your body if they're heavy. You know, you don't necessarily want to do this. I got told off for doing this by my daughter because she said, you know, like, what's that about? But if you've got a bag, I would only use a clutch, clutch bag, never use a shoulder bag. It would just ruin the line of everything. Use a little clutch bag and just pose. You know, if you want to cover your tummy, cover your tummy. But, you know, and try and get the other hand behind you and just, just practice. Just practice until it comes naturally. It really does make a huge difference. So that's dress number one. I hope you like it. I, I really like it. So, um, I, I you know, it's just easy. It's as light as a feather. It's polyester, I'm sure. But there's not a lot to it. So you are wearing the dress. The dress isn't wearing you. I've just popped back to show you these shoes, actually, which I've also had for years. These are by a brand called Unisa. They're a Spanish brand. And they are very comfortable, even though they're quite high, they have got a platform contained within the shoe and they're a nice wide fit. So um, I bought these in John Lewis. I'm not sure if they still do them, but I, I think they're available online. So if you're looking for a comfortable, higher shoe, and of course, Cala, Cala shoes, if you've got any kind of problem with your feet, um, they do a fantastic range of, of shoes and, um, yeah, I'll link those down below too, because I'm not sure if these are still available, but they're all leather. I think they're about a hundred pounds. So this second dress is a ghost dress and it was in the sale. It's actually 54 pounds. It's a very simple dress, but you know, you might be going to more of a low key wedding 
Um, I mean, I don't think I look particularly low key, but you know, simple and elegant. And it's um, black. I love this neckline. See, it's got this kind of sheer set round here with an ivory dot puff sleeves. And I've just put my hair up sort of roughly because um, I wanted to put this hatinator on. I've got this bag that I got in TK Maxx 100 years ago. The thing with this is it is bias cut. So there is a slight kind of issue with the way it's lying. Now, I don't know if that could be steamed out. I don't know. Um, but, it, you know, I'm just giving you looks. I'm just giving you ideas. So as I say, this was £54 and it's very comfortable. It just slips on and it's flattering. It's easy to wear. It's a nice dress just in itself, to be honest. Um, I'd like the sleeves a little bit longer, but I don't think they're, you know, horrifically short. They're, they're long enough. And uh, I think that's, you know, for a wedding guest or a, a mother of the principals, I think, um, well, I really like it. I think it's really elegant. I think it looks really smart and sophisticated. And again, practice your pose, ladies. I swear you will thank me for it. You know, if you watch the ladies, the stars on the red carpet, they all stop and do their pose because they know as soon as you put one foot in front of the other like this, you narrow your silhouette and naturally, you know, my, my little sister always says, um, teeth and tits, girls, teeth and tits. <laughs> Don't be offended solely fun so yes yeah, so that's number two i really like that as well i think it looks lovely and maybe i'm not sure if it's enough for a mother of the bride but certainly maybe a second wedding maybe a registry office wedding and for 54 pounds i mean come on excellent it's quite nice as well that this is satin finish and this is satin finish dress so anyway not that i'm keeping it but um I like it. I like it very much. It's ghost. Did I say that? It's ghost. I just wanted to quickly say that that Cheska dress was actually in a 1618. And that's how those dresses come. 1618. I'm not sure if it's 1820 or 2022. But I, I put my measurements in. Um, not my measurements, but my height and weight and stuff into the size guide. And it told me to get a 1618. The ghost dress was an XXL because their dresses are kind of on the small side. Now, this one is actually a Gina Bacconi dress. And I got this in a 20 because I know that her dresses come up really small. And this one's £260. Um, I think these are better for slightly shorter ladies. I'm five foot six and this is shorter than I would like. But it is really lovely. It's very comfortable. Again, I just pulled it on. I don't know if it's got a zip or not, but it's got this stretchy black top. I've just put it on with some, you know, some of Meneer's golden uh, silver jewellery. I've got this hatinator that I wore to a wedding 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Um, another little clutch bag that I got, either TK Maxx or the next sale. Lovely, isn't it? I've lent this to a few people. And what I do like about this dress is the pocket. So it's shorter at the front, longer at the back. Very, very easy to wear, very comfortable. And I think it fits the bill beautifully. I love the three quarter sleeve. I think it's very flattering. Um, what more can you say really? I mean, very easy to accessorize. It's a kind of a, a kind of a bronzy pink, I guess you'd call it. What do they call it? Black pink is what they call it. So you could go with the pink, but I think the black looks quite smart, quite sophisticated. It's got this little ruching around here. Did I say the price? Um, 260. But very lightweight, very, very comfortable, very easy to wear. The skirt's not lined. It kind of is one of those... Um, it's not gathered, it's pleated on, so it's supposed to have that kind of um, bell shape. 
which is good if you've got um, any kind of tummy, you know, an apron tummy or whatever, because um, nothing hangs against it. So that's number three. I, I think they're all lovely in their own right so far. Um, when I think I ordered probably 50 dresses for my son's wedding and uh, it took me a long time to find something, but what I did find I really liked and I got that from Coast. Well, I did look at Coast for this haul and there was nothing that was suitable at all for me. I only buy what I like, you know, I don't just buy it because I'm doing like a mother of the bride thing. I have to, I have to think, you know, would it suit me? Would it look nice on me before I buy it? So, um, have a look. There might be something that's just up your alley, but there wasn't for me. So anyway, that's dress number three. So this one is phase eight. This must have been reduced because it's £67.50. It's a little bit different, but I, I just thought I'd throw it in there, you know, so keep your mind open. Um, this is the hat that I actually wore for my hatinator that I wore for my son's wedding. And uh, I had this made to my specifications, basically, um, which I know you can do. This was a local haberdasher's and she had the bases and she would just trim them however you wanted. So I wore a black dress for his wedding and um, white, kind of black and white shoes. And oh, I've got the shoes on as well. I know this is cream, so I wouldn't wear... Well, the hat's fine, actually, because it's natural. It's not bright white, but the shoes are white. I'm using this bag again. Um, and here's pearls. So this is the crossover top with a very full sleeve. You know, it does need steaming, but um, I don't want to do anything like that because I don't want to risk, you know, damaging it at all. It's got this nice kind of pleated effect on the shoulder rather than just being gathered. It's got the, the um, crossover top which is very flattering you know to have that v it is a little bit kind of will it won't it um but easily easily rectified with a, a small stitch and the bottom is faux leather it's a little bit different isn't it but i think it's quite good i think it's a little bit edgy I think it um, makes a change, you know, I think it's quite fun. I mean, not everyone's cup of tea, I know, but I'm just throwing it out there. Um, I actually got these shoes in Spain because again, um, I wanted to heel with a platform and I couldn't get anything over here. So I bought these while I was on holiday in Spain. Um, so yeah, I don't know what you think. But, you know, £67, it shows you don't have to spend a fortune to um, look the part, really. So, all the dresses so far, I believe, have been washable. Um, but in my experience, I have never worn any of the dresses that I wore to the three children's weddings again. Um, because I think you just always think that's my mother of the bride or groom outfit. And... You know, it feels kind of a bit weird to wear it to someone else's child's wedding when you're not the mother. Um, and, you know, how often do you need a posh frock like that? But, uh, yeah, I mean, you could easily wear this with a little black jacket. And, um, oops, break my neck. There's this bit of um, edging that Rob's put on there that catches me out all the time. So, yeah. I know you'll all let me know what you think anyway, but bear in mind, I don't have a child getting married. So this is just to give you some ideas and some little hints and tips on what I learned along the way. Now this dress is phase eight. This is um, £179 and um, this is a size 18. It's a very, very pretty dress. Now, I didn't have a, a pale pink hatinator, but I put this one on that uh, I actually bought in Marks and Spencers in the sale for my son's wedding, because um, the dress I had on was actually black at the top with multicolored um, pleated skirt. 
and this is very comfortable. It feels very heavy off the hanger, but when you've got it on, it feels fine. It's got the same idea with the pleats set into the shoulder. Um, the wrap over fits much better than the last one, funny enough. The other one seems to have a lot more fabric. Again, I haven't got the right color tan bag, but I'm just kind of putting the, the look together for you. Very, very comfortable. The only danger with this is that you might see someone else in it because it's this year's kind of mother of the bride look, I suppose. If you put into John Lewis website, mother of the bride, this dress comes up. But you know, don't let that stop you because I think it's really lovely. It's got lovely movement. It's incredibly comfortable. I put it on with some nude shoes because um, I don't have pale pink shoes or green shoes. And I think nude works quite well. Funnily enough, they have got a little pink toe on them. Um, so I think you could actually get away with a nude shoe with this. And uh, I think it's lovely. Again, practice the pose, ladies. You know, do it in the privacy of your own bedroom. Nobody needs to know that you're doing it, but it'll give you that confidence on the day to just feel like I'm gonna look like my best. <laughs> TNT, that's what I'll say, TNT. So, um, yeah, I think it's very, very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Funny enough, before I put it on, I thought it looked a bit mumsy. And then when I put it on, I thought it looks quite young and youthful. I don't know what you think. I don't know what's your favourite so far. I've only got one more to show you. Um, but they're lovely. Oh, the other thing I need, needed to say was, you need to also sit down in the dress. See what happens when you sit down. Because you will spend a lot of the day sitting down. You need to keep your back straight, obviously. But you need to see if you get a situation where it won't look good because you will be photographed sitting down as well. And um, it needs to be comfortable sitting down just as much as it does standing up because through the service, through the meal, you will be sitting down. And the other thing I would do is take another pair of comfortable shoes with you because pain shows on your face. And if your heels start to hurt you through the evening, you won't feel like dancing. So, um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll talk about a couple of other little tips um, after I've tried the final dress on, which funnily enough is actually a pink dress too. So um, I'll do that now. This last dress um, is a whistles dress and it is a size 18. Um, it's very pretty, 75 pounds. Um, I threw it in at the last minute, really, because a couple of dresses that I put in my basket, annoyingly, when I went to check out, had gone. It's so frustrating when they do that, isn't it? But, you know, it is what it is. It's very snug. This is an 18, um, but it's very snug. Very pretty fabric. Um, like a, a rose pink, like almost a bluey pink with a little silver spot. I haven't done the neck up because it's a bit of a contortion job. It's got this little slit here, a puff sleeve with a fixed uh, cuff edging, which is fine, but it is snug. I've kept the nude shoes on. Um, you can see it's got a lovely look to it. What I will say about that other dress is if it's a summer wedding, it would be really, really warm. By the time I took it off, and I mean, I'm in a house that's actually not heated at the moment but it's not cold but you know I was like oh gosh now I think this is going to prove what I'm saying about sitting down because it's so slim fit in here when I sit down you can see all the rolls which you know obviously if you've got a table happy days but in the church or or the um registry office or wherever you won't have anything in front of you so that's not particularly a good look, and I don't think I've got a handbag big enough to, to disguise that. So, you know, standing up, it's fine, but I am holding my tummy in, I'm not gonna pretend I'm not. So I think if you've got a bit of a tummy area, this is um, probably not the dress for you, but a very pretty dress nonetheless. I think you'll agree. I mean, you can see there, as even as I'm walking towards the camera, you can see where everything's uh, sticking in and out. 
I think I got this little fascinator in um, Accessorize online. They have some really good sales on there. So that's a place to look if you're not sure. Um, yeah, so um, I'll go and take this off and then I will just wrap up the video with um, a couple of other things that, are, you know, you probably know it all already. And if you do, obviously you can turn off for you. You know, I always think, well, if I just learn one thing, it's handy, isn't it? So um, that's what we're here to do, isn't it? Share our experiences and learn. So I'll go and take this off because it's not the most comfortable. And I feel a bit of a Charlie wearing this hat on a weekday. Well, I feel a bit of a Charlie wearing it any day if I wasn't going to a wedding. Um, and I'll come back um, and just wrap up. So... To wrap up, I just thought I'd share a couple of other little hints and tips. Now, this stuff, I've talked about this before, but this is a godsend. If you want bare legs, but, you know, your legs aren't um, perfect in, in skin tone, maybe you've got some varicose veins, some blemishes, this stuff is absolutely marvellous. And I'll put a little bit on now. Try not to get it everywhere. This is dar darker than... You know, I, I, I've got always a bit of a tan. So just spray it on. Can you see that? And then rub it on. This is, like I say, this is quite dark, but I've usually got a tan. But they do it in, um, I think this one is deep glow. But you can see it just evens out all any imperfections on your skin, any blemishes any veins, anything, and it just gives you, it looks like you're wearing very sheer tights. And I swear by that in the summer. I, wear, I use it all the time if I'm going out and I've got bare legs and, um, you know, I want it to look as good as it can. Um, and it dries, it doesn't come off until you wash it off with soap and water. So as long as you let it dry before you put your clothes on, um, you'll be fine. Um, so that's that's my top tip. That's Sally Hansen airbrush legs and um, swear by that stuff. Um, other couple of things I just thought I'd mention is when you are looking for your dress, don't be afraid to look in the sales. Don't be afraid to look in clearance. Don't be afraid to put best discount, uh, highest discount on John Lewis site because in actual fact, that will mean that you're probably looking at old stock and then you've got less chance of somebody buying that to wear to your family wedding or your, you know, whoever's wedding or just somebody else, you know, um, because it's not newly in. So, you know, if you've got a wedding next year, I would be looking this year for your outfit um, so that it, it's not what someone else might buy. Um I have these in my sort of stash, wardrobe stash. They're very handy if you're wearing a light dress and it's maybe autumn or going into winter. It's just a little glamorous feather collar. Um, I think they call it a collar, oh, excuse me. Um, and I bought this donkey's years ago. This was country casual, so it tells you how long ago that was. Um, and the girls have used this before now. And then for Henry's wedding, I actually bought this, which was from uh, Jenny Packham, but I think I got it in the sale because my dress was uh, Bardo style and it, it was October, so it did get chilly. So I just popped that on and, you know, it still looked kind of glamorous with, you know, it uh, wasn't a coat or anything. My dress was still the main thing, but I had a lovely little and it's easy, you know, tuck that away. So then the final thing I would mention, and this is probably obvious, but um, I had a bag, like a, you know, not a hold all exactly, but a tote bag, I suppose, with all emergency items in it. You know, most of us now put the comfort um, basket in the, in the ladies' toilets, you know, with hairspray and plasters and painkillers and all that. I wanted my own little stash that I could just access if I needed it to for me or my family. And I put a little sewing kit in there. I put some spare pants in there. Um, my shoes to change into through the evening. A little bit of, you know, an emergency makeup kit. Because um, 
we weren't staying at the venue for any of the three weddings actually. For the first two, we were going home and for Henry's, we were going back to an apartment. So we didn't have all our home comforts there. If you're staying in a hotel, you probably got it all up in your room and that's fine too. But you know, a lot of places now, um, you, you, it's just a venue for weddings. So they don't have all of this stuff. You know, it's not like a hotel, maybe. So I had a bag, an emergency bag that I had everything in. And if anybody gave me anything that I needed to kind of keep safe, I just popped it into that bag and just kept it in a safe place, you know, tucked away. And um, yeah, and it did, it did prove useful, actually. I think something out of that bag was used for all three weddings. You know, even like a pen and paper, because you know, you're taking a little tiny clutch bag, you don't have room for all that stuff. So everything I thought of, I kept lists coming out of my ears. Um, and if I say so myself, they were really, all three of them were very lovely, successful weddings and everyone had a great time. And there's two things, don't sweat the small stuff and nobody knows what was in your head. I think I've said this before, but you know, you have a vision of what you think it's going to look like, but nobody else knows that vision. So if you walk into the room and you think, oh, that's not exactly what I meant, it doesn't matter because nobody else knew. And when you're thinking of the room, you're not thinking it full of people. You're thinking of the bare room and all the little details and the candles and the vases and, you know, the tiny details, which of course are great fun. I, I went to a lot of trouble for all of that stuff, so I'm not knocking any of that stuff. But when people come in and they take, the men take their jackets off and put them on the back of the chairs and people put their bags on the table and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, very soon, all of this very carefully crafted detail has gone. People care whether they have nice food, whether they have um, a good dance, whether there's, you know, plenty of uh, drinks available. Um, think of your guests first, really. Think of, because if your guests have a good time, you'll have a good time. And um, yeah, that's it. You know, I think I've shared my main nuggets of experience and um yeah so that's today's video i hope you've enjoyed it i'm not claiming to be an expert by any stretch of the imagination but um i have got a lot of experience so i will see you all soon have a great weekend thanks for watching bye